software company Kasaya says the impact of this weekend's ransomware attack has been very minimal. The hack affected as many as 1,500 businesses, though, in at least 17 countries. That alone makes it potentially the largest ransomware attack ever. Analysts believe the Russian hacking group Our Evil was behind it. The hackers are now demanding $70 million in cryptocurrency to unlock the victim's files. Joining us now to talk more about this is cybersecurity expert Brian Horning. Brian, thanks for being with us. Let's, talk, let's talk about this. Um, low impact, but very large scale. Tell us what uh, Our Evil is and uh, how they accomplish this. Sure. Our Evil is a uh, hacking group based in Russia, and they are known to operate what's called a ransomware as a service type of operation. What they basically do is they resell their ransomware service to other hackers who are able to get inside of companies' networks. And then once they're in the networks, then they, they come in and they deploy the ransomware under kind of like an affiliate agreement. So we're talking a $70 million ransom here. Tell me where you know, where the, the all of these companies are trying to pay that. I mean, that's usually what happens in these situations, whether they come public with it at the time or not. Yeah, that's correct. And what's happening right now is uh, what we're seeing on the ground is that uh, our, our evil is negotiating with the individual companies for other amounts besides the 70 million. I believe that the 70 million was put out on their PR blog called the Happy Blog on the dark web hmm. as, a, as a way to get attention and let Kaseya know if you want this problem to go away, here's the number. It's really interesting the way you put it there. They're negotiating like this is a simple business deal. But honestly, that's how it seems to have become over uh, the last few months. Very highly organized, uh, very well run businesses is what we are dealing with and what business is up against these days. Well, dark side. Uh, back in May, I remember the uh, federal government was able to uh, to seize uh, that ransom. Uh, can that be done in this situation? And if not, how come? Well, the dark side uh, hackers they they were able to recover some of that money due to some missteps made by these these criminals. Uh, it's not to say that this couldn't happen again with these missteps because our government is very good at, at tracking and monitoring the, the, their targets that they know are part of these organizations. A lot of these organizations are, are, are based in Russia, right? And it appears that uh, President Vladimir Putin is doing nothing uh, to, to curtail this. In fact, many argue that he is giving them all a, a safe harbor in which to do this, this, dirk, this dark, dirty work. Yeah, that's... That's act accurate as well. Uh, his stance is, is that the United States government has not uh, come forth with enough evidence for him to believe that there are Russian citizens behind this attack. He has said that he would uh, begin negotiations to turn those people over if, in fact, they do produce enough evidence. But unfortunately, our intelligence community knows that when they turn over that evidence, it will give away methods and sources, so they're apprehensive to do so. It's seems like a, a big game and it seems like there is no end in sight to this but is this ever going to end uh, it's only going to end with the cooperation of private business and our federal government working together to stop this problem that's that's the only answer and uh both entities are, are severely behind the eight ball at this point i mean what can uh, corporations that are watching this what can they do it almost feels like there's nothing you can do to stop them uh you know firewalls are what they are these people are finding ways around everything yeah, that's why a comprehensive cybersecurity framework is the only way that you're really going to stop and or recover from events like these. Uh, our government has the NIST cybersecurity framework that's freely available for companies to start understanding and implementing. I highly recommend you work with professionals to do so. It is pretty extensive, uh, but it does require time, money, and resources and a lot of it to, to accomplish, but it's certainly something that all businesses should look at doing at some level. Cybersecurity expert Brian Hornig, thanks for your expertise and for joining us tonight. We appreciate yep. it. Thanks for having me on. All right, take care. The landmark day in the Illinois